Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there. I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video. And uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded, which means that you can take it on your own pace. And in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation, I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself. And at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana. That being said, the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from uh, the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show right so uh let's have a look what Aries are to have as an uh, experience in terms of career and relationship uh, in this particular week. So uh, the first thing that we're going to uh, have a look at is going to be in terms of a relationship. So, and love, of course. So let me just a uh, shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we're going to jump right into it. So uh, the first card, wow, the first card that you are going to have, guys, in terms of love and relationship is going to be the star card. Moving next, uh, that will be the queen of pentacles, followed by the queen of cups. And the last one here, uh, that is going to be the eight of swords. Huh. So, because the star card, sits into the uh, prime position in this particular spread uh, the week regardless of what is going to uh, is going to happen there really because everybody you know goes through their own personal stuff and one area's experience is going to be completely different from the other however <clears throat> the star card promises not just only hope but in general is something that's you are gonna look forward to now in terms of love and uh, and relationship the stand card the the star card oh my god stands as a unfolding love which means that it starts as something small and then unfolds moving forward into the future right and also uh it it, it also stands as a, a potential not only your criterias but as well your ideals to be fulfilled at the end uh, of the journey that you are to start throughout this particular week now again that is a, a journey and it is not a a, a one-week type of journey it is just it's starting within this week now this journey is going to refer to those which are single though uh, that is because the queen of pentacles as it stands into the uh, into the second position of the sprite pretty much it does point that the star card refers to a brand new experience it has nothing to do with with an old situations that being said this does not exclude uh, this doesn't exclude reconciliations it doesn't exclude as well recuperating into marriage or you know fixing relationships but in but if this is so to happen okay it needs to be founded again on a brand new experiences i mean if you are to reconciliate you can't rec reconciliate the same kind of relationship it should happen something like you are 
you have never uh, it, it, it's like you should pretend that you have never met before it is like you know everything start from a scratch that being said you should not bring any kind of how can I say any any kind of issues problems predicaments nor memories from the past uh, if reconciliation it is to happen so you nonetheless what you should rely on throughout this particular uh, throughout this particular week in order to help the star card to unfold here it is shown by the queen of uh, by the queen of cups and that pretty much points that uh, your virtues here should be uh, your discretion that is uh, at the first place that needs to stand and then uh, the ability to connect uh, i don't know how to describe it really it, it, it's like connecting emotionally but uh, uh, it's like feeling for the person, all right? Whenever they are sharing you something as an information, you know, experience that they had, uh, you need to show that you are either, or you need to be capable either to be happy for them or to be sad for them as well. If that it is not present, then obviously a, an emotional connection cannot happen in between you two. Therefore, that is not your girl or it is not your guy by all, uh, by all means. And the week really um, ends in a very strange fashion here. Now we do have the Eight of Swords and that could really manifest in many, many different ways uh, for any of you. So, uh, Eight of Swords generally refers to uh, the truth and to how one is either accepting it or not. So, the Eight of Swords, the most negative way that it may unfold for you, it is that you are to fall in love so much that you are going to stop paying attention to the negative traits that the person that you do are falling in love with has. You know, like for example, that person is good with you, but it is pretty big jerk with the with the rest, okay? Or, or does things that further down the road are going to be issue for both of you. So it's very important while you should be connected emotionally, you know, and experience whatever emotional satisfaction because you're gonna have an emotional satisfaction throughout this week, guys. Uh, also, don't blind, blindfold yourself for the reality that it is happening around. So surrender a verdict here, Aries, um, those that are within a, a relationship uh, at the end, uh, for what it seems, uh, they can fix or uh, fix issues within the relationship or even move forward with a uh, much, how can I say, which exponential growth within the relationship, but they need to aim to develop I new experiences in there. And those that are single, well, throughout this week, you are to either meet somebody or start an interactions with a somebody that's a huge potential can be unfold but it will need time so that was uh, your relationship and love reading aries now let's have a look what um, you are to experience in terms of a uh, career So, uh, the first card in terms of your career, that is going to be the Queen of Wands. Very promising, guys. Moving next, we do have the Four of Cups, followed by uh, the Three of Swords, and that's getting better and better. Wow, and the last one, we do have the Magician. So, career-wise, I mean, you're really going to shine throughout this week. Uh, so we, because the Queen of Wands, when we're talking about career, now that card shows your subtle, acute sense of of where the wind is coming from what you need to do it also you're gonna have that um understanding into the nature of your co-workers into the nature of the uh, of the issues that you are facing uh in the job that you're working and how to fix them as well now the queen of uh, the queen of wands is one of the best cards to have uh, from the minor arcanas that is 
uh, to have for a career as uh, if you are um, if you're I'm sorry if you are aiming for a growth you know if you are aiming for sustainability that is something different and it's a different matter but in terms of a growth you can't have anything better than uh, the queen of wands and um, <clears throat> with it um, uh, it's pretty much how can I describe it it's pretty much you're gonna bring attention to yourself uh, in terms of career development so you can expect throughout this particular week should you be uh, employed uh, your boss and your supervisor and generally as well your co-workers to aim to have more interactions with you and to aim to share more projects and more cooperate uh, co cooperative work with you now unfortunately however uh, there will be a repetition what i mean is that uh, you may not find the things that you are going to work uh, on a very interesting uh, that is because we do have the four of uh, the four of cups really into the second position now there will be some peripheral activities which are not a mandatory for the job itself that you can uh, that you can pretty much start working and that are going to be a bit interesting for you in fact they are going to show that they are going to uh, be a, a source of huge enthusiasm uh, although your attention is going to be requested elsewhere uh, and it will need to be your immediate attention because for what it seems you will have to manage certain crises uh, that it is not your doing okay somebody else made a mess made a mess I'm sorry and now you are going to be the team or in the team that needs to clean up that mess and uh, here the whole the whole theme the whole cooperation that we talked about is going to feel like they're working with their back against the wall uh, but this is exactly how you shine showing that you are exceptionally good when you have to tackle a crisis uh, and when your back is against the wall when you have to work with your back against the wall um, another thing that we do have here as well it is that you may uncover uh, and that is with a good sense, although, uh, that uh, there are those that are speaking behind your back, okay? People that are putting a, a nice smile in their face when they're talking with you and, they're, and when they're interacting with you. But, I, but after that, when you turn your back against them, they're talking shenanigans and, and frankly, you know, un, unfair testaments or testimonials, if you will, uh, for you. So ultimately, at the end of the week, uh, as the magician stands, uh, it seems that you are going to build up much more personal sovereignty and as well, uh, it does depend how you're going to play your cards, uh, but at the end you will also going to be able to uh, negotiate a, a good terms of your future employment, that is if you do want to go that road. I mean, if you are happy with how you are standing right now, you don't have to do it. But if should you aim for a growth into your career, you know, the whole performance that you are going to show throughout the week is going to give you the prerequisites and the foundation to uh, negotiate your future terms uh, and how far you can go into the company itself. <clears throat> now, those that are uh, unemployed uh, for what it seems uh, throughout this week, it will be rough for you to uh, find even an opportunity for a job okay that being said it doesn't mean that you want it just is going to be rough for you to do so and once you do so um you, your uh, particular skills uh, are going to be valued maybe that's the word that i should use like you know they are to be recognized for what they truly are and it is highly likely that you're going to find a job it is just you know the arid period that may happen at the start of the week may discourage you a little bit to keep on looking for a job so that being said Aries, uh, this was your a weekly tarot reading guys um, and um, i do hope that you enjoyed it and that you liked it and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye